With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry, and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question, and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello everyone. This is our question. Let me explain this question to you. Carbon and oxygen combine to form two oxides, carbon monoxide and carbon dioxide, in which the ratio of weight of carbon and oxygen is respectively 12 is to 16 and 12 is to 32. These figure illustrates which of the following law. So it is clearly given to us that carbon and oxygen combine to form two oxides. First case, we are having carbon monoxide. In the second case, we have carbon dioxide. Right. So first of all, we have to balance this equation. So I will be taking half moles of oxygen on the left hand side. It is balanced. Right. So if we see that in carbon monoxide, carbon and oxygen are basically combined in a mass ratio of 12 is to 16 because one carbon have an, has an atomic weight of 12 and oxygen 16. So this is the mass ratio. And in carbon dioxide, the mass ratio is carbon again, one carbon atom. So its mass will be 12 is to two oxygen atoms will be having a mass of 32. So the ratio respectively is 12 is to 16 and 12 is to 32. That is right, right? So as we can see here, the weight of carbon is same in both the compounds, right? That is 12, but the weight of oxygen is different. So this basically follows the law of multiple proportions. Right. According to the law of multiple proportions, when two elements, uh, we can just pen it down for the easy clarification. When two elements combine to form two or more compounds, then the masses of one of the element which combines with fixed mass of other element bear a simple whole number ratio. Right. So this is the clear statement of the law of multiple proportions. So now here what is happening? The mass of oxygen is different, but the mass of carbon is fixed in both the cases. Right. So we can say that let's pen it down here. So ratio of masses of oxygen is 16 is to 32. How it came? If we see the masses of oxygen, here is 16, right? And in CO2, it is 32. So the ratio came out to be 16 is to 32, right? So which is simple form, it becomes 1 is to 2, right? So we can say which is a simple whole number ratio. So this given statement is completely following the law of multiple proportion. So going above, we can mark the correct answer. Option number A, law of multiple proportion is the correct answer. Thank you. For class 6 to 12, ITG and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.